Hey everybody, welcome back to Truth Be Told, La Verdad de Dios. I am praying that every person watching this video would have a revelation. I really do. A revelation, the truth of God would be exposed to you today, that you would be transformed. Uh, it says that when we have revelation on the truth, we are responsible for the truth. And if you're not ready to obey the truth, then you better not hope you better not get no revelation because I truly believe that when we are ready to know, when we're seeking God diligently, when we are looking for the truth, it's because you should you should be prepared to, to, to submit to it. Because if you're seeking the truth and then you find out and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to give this up yet. Then stop seeking the truth because the truth is going to tell, it's going to change you. You know, so I pray that everyone that's here today is seeking the truth of God and that when you find it, that you would submit to it and obey it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So listen to me, y'all. Exposure of the glory of God creates transformation. See, I've been marked by the very nature of God. Ooh, did you hear what I said? There are miracles all around us, but you see, we want God to do what we ask him. It's like he a puppet, Okay. Like the Pharisees and the Sadducees. In Matthew 16, 1, it says, Show us a sign from heaven, as if the signs and miracles of deliverance and healing people weren't enough. They wanted God to perform for them, just what I said. We miss the sign and wonders of God every single day. Oh, my goodness. In Mark 8, it says, Jesus said, questions, he goes, Can't you see? Can't you hear? And can't you remember? See, we are to remember all the signs and wonders of past. That we should live our lives based on, that is the ability, the power of God and what he's already done. Do you want to know what the biggest miracle in your life, and we, we tend to overlook it every single day, is the miracle of salvation. If you're a Christian and you're a child of God, the biggest miracle to date is your salvation. You couldn't earn it. You couldn't, you couldn't, uh, you don't deserve it, but yet, because he loved us so, we have salvation. So I'm sorry. I, I focus on these things daily, and this is what, what makes me the way I am. I get to choose every single day. I get to choose to honor God, and that means I have to sacrifice. I have to pick up my cross and follow Jesus. That means I got to sacrifice things that I may want to do, that may feel good. But nothing can compare to the sacrifice and the love of Jesus in my life. And that's a decision I've made. And since I've made I've made that decision, I want you to know I go from glory to glory, from sanctification to sanctification because I continue to grow, you know. Uh, and I'm telling you that if you want the best life possible while you're still here on earth, this temporary vapor of a life, that, ah, you're blinking, you miss it, uh, then you need to hook up to the creator. You need to you need to be connected to the source of all life. It says he is the he is the he is the branch. No, we're the branches. <laughs> he is the vine. We are the branches. Apart from him, we can do nothing. So, I mean, what are you connected to? We're connected to social media. We're connected to the world, to our jobs. You know, connected to mammon, money, honey. There's so many things that we're focused on and we're that we love more than we love God. But yet, we say that we love God. You know, let's let's start to have evidence in our life that we truly love God, that we're seeking Him. That not only are we seeking Him, because some of us are seeking Him, and then when we find Him. We reject it or we're not, we're being disobedient. Then stop seeking him. I'm just saying, you know, why are you seeking him? If when he tells you and you, you find his word, then you don't do it. It's about, I yearn to seek him. And, and every day he tells me, well, you got to get this out of your life. And I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. And some things are more difficult than others to give up. I ain't going to lie. But at the end of the day, when I look at it for what it is, there's no contest. It's no contest. I mean, think about it. Your eternal salvation or these temporary fleshes, desires, feel good, getting high, having sex, and just being disobedient, lying, stealing, whatever it is. I say it's time to come to the table and lay it all on the table. What are you going to choose? Are you going to choose life or are you going to choose death? Are you going to choose blessings or are you going to choose curses? Are you going to choose God or are you going to choose Satan? The choice is yours. I'm choosing God. Hello. <laughs> I love you guys. I am on... Mm, I am on, ooh, I'm on Jesus' way. Yes, I am. And Love Lane, where you at? Holla.